was just a boy in school I always loved to play the fool They said it was a childish game But now I've grown, I'm just the same That's why when I'm walking out People always stop and shout Fun time Frankie Fun time Frankie Fun time Frankie Fun time Frankie Ooh, Fun time Frankie 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 I'm feeling fine in a frivolous frame of mind What a crowd! Easy. Thank you very much. First time I've seen you since Christmas, so Happy New Year and all that. And uh, Christmas all right? Yeah. yeah. It's all right. Some, I had a bit of a double blow at Christmas, which is always good. I, uh, <laughs> someone bought me... Someone bought me the new Steps CD. And I just got into them, and they split up. <laughs> have you heard the new... If you haven't heard the, the, the Steps CD, it's called God, Get It. It's, fa what, it's fantastic. What's brilliant about it is you play it all the way through, right, and it works a bit like one of those CD cleaners. Because <laughs> after you've played it, all your other CDs sound much better. <laughs> Anyway, look, there's been a lot of fuss about the closing stages of Pop Idol, you know. But my favourite episodes were early on in the series, when people stood in that audition room in front of the judges and had to just go for it. <laughs> Next. Something wasn't right here. Yes, yes, well, I agree with you on one count. Something wasn't right here. <laughs> Nikki. <laughs> well, Whitney, first of all, I think it's pretty obvious that that song's not right for you. Yes, yes, yes. I mean, how do you think you did? Well, maybe if I do it a little bit more like this, okay? Just, just watch, okay? Oh, baby, baby, how was I supposed to know? Something wasn't right here. Oh, baby, baby, I shouldn't have. I don't think that would have helped. <laughs> you see, I'd do anything to become a pop idol. I would do anything. Neil? Well, well, if you told me to, I would do that. Yeah, I'll... T <laughs> no, no, I was talking to Neil. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. <laughs> you know, I've been a DJ for 15 years, and people always come up to me and they say, Foxy, one thing the world does not need is another Debbie Gibson. <laughs> Pete. <laughs> I'm sorry, love. Yo, I ain't never gonna be a pop idol. <laughs> but... uh, uh, somebody's already tried that. <laughs> the thing is, broccoli. It's Brittany. I don't care what part of France you're from. <laughs> the thing is, you're just not cool. You're kitsch. Kitsch? Uh, listen, my boyfriend's from NSYNC, okay? I'm not kitsch. Yeah, well, maybe they should call him Kitsch NSYNC. Kitsch NSYNC. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm sorry, dear. You're just not what we're looking for. No, if I do it like this, just wait, just one second. Watch this. Watch this. It's fun to stay at the YMCA. It's fun to stay at the YMCA. Don't you? Is that okay? You, you know what? Fine. This show is just cheap and tacky, okay? I'll find a way of becoming famous that has a lot more credibility than this, okay? My loneliness is killing me And I <laughs> I still believe, I still believe When I'm not with you, I lose my mind Oh, fantastic.
but she made it in the end. Ladies and gentlemen, the one and only Britney Spears. <laughs> I didn't get a cheer like that. Uh, your crowd's very nice. They're nice, and yes. aren't they close? Yeah, they are. It's very intimate, though. I like this. This is very cool. Yeah, I like that as well. Yeah. They're on top of you. <laughs> so, um, well done in the sketch. I well, you thank were... you. I just watched it. It was very funny. You uh, were funny but... yourself. Oh, thanks very much. <laughs> um, did you, I mean, you wouldn't have got any of it, presumably, because you don't watch pop idols. But um, We have something similar to that in the States, though. OK. Yeah, something very similar. And you must have done a few auditions in your time, Oh, yes, you? a lot of auditions. Yeah. yeah? Yeah. Did it bring back any horrible memories? It's just that feeling of right before you walk in, you know, you're really, really nervous. And, of course, everyone just staring at you. You know, it's very nerve-wracking. Yeah. So. You started out as a child star, mm -hmm. yeah. didn't you? Mm -hmm. Now, um... Is there a danger when you're a child star that you can't help but notice the fact that you're kind of important because people respond to you in a certain way mm -hmm. and that can kind of spoil your character early on? Did you ever catch yourself getting a bit nasty? You know what? I have a group of people around me that I've been with for a really long time and they keep me in, sh in, in my place. You know, if I ever pull a little diva here or a little diva there, they bring me right back down. Do you know I haven't you pulled know. a little diva for years? <laughs> <laughs> but you never know, maybe tonight. <laughs> <laughs> so, you did little concerts, didn't you, in, in, mm -hmm. the, in yeah. the bathroom, I yeah. understand? Mm -hmm. Always. For I was time. always performing, always singing, even at recess at school. I was always, had my little friends who were doing routines, yeah. What is recess? Because we're going to have problems tonight, aren't we? Because apart from the fact we come from different countries, mm -hmm. also the fact there's an age gap of nearly 52 years between us. <laughs> and also, I come from a part of England called Birmingham, which you may not have heard of. So my, already our accents are going to be. So let, let's be in this together on okay. a communication front. Okay. What is recess? Recess is where it's the time of the day when you're at school where you go out on the playground and you play. Oh, playtime. Playtime. Yeah. Playtime. We call it recess. OK. <laughs> I like playtime better. OK. Yes, it's the simplicity of playtime, isn't it? Oh, so you'd go out into the playground and start performing? Mm hmm Me yeah. too. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a clip of you, anyway, on um, a thing called Star Search, mm -hmm. which is a kind of a pop idol, I suppose. But, yeah. Um, yeah. So this, this is Britney, age nine, on Star Search. Oh, God. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> but that's a big voice for a small child, isn't it? I guess so, yeah. I was always singing, so... Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you, you know, you, you see kids, and you see cute little kids at talent shows, and they come on and say, I want to be loved by you, by love, by love, by love, and everyone's like, they're so cute. But you come on and go, whoa! <laughs> There's a slight element of exorcist about it. I mean, Don't say that! In a nice way, obviously. <laughs> So you mentioned the diva thing. Now, I, I, you probably won't be aware of this, but in the British press, there's been quite a lot in the last year or so about big American stars, particularly American female stars, mm -hmm. coming to England and being very diva-ish. I mean, really? I, I don't want to name names, but Mariah, J-Lo, <laughs> Whitney. And yeah, and people turning up and saying we want 78 dressing rooms and two horses and a house. Maybe their entourage is bigger than mine. I don't carry that many people with me. Yeah. Like, well, I mean, I have a lot of people, but not that many people. So. so how many do you... You're on a little European kind of promotional tour at the moment. How many people are in the, the Britney posse? I think I have like 20 people. Yeah, 20 or 30. So. <laughs> you haven't counted them recently? No, no, yeah. something like that. Because when they said, um, we, we can get Britney Spears on the show, obviously I was very pleased, but I thought, oh man, she's going to make this demand and that demand. And then we, when I met some of your people, we said, can we, what does, and, and they said, if you get us some bottles of water, that'll be good. <laughs> 
require that much. I really don't. Yeah. I don't. Yeah. Water's good. That's it. <laughs> well, this is all you're getting tonight. <laughs> so I went home. One thing about the level that you're at, it must be quite easy to let people do everything for you and live in a kind of a... It's kind of cosy, isn't it, stardom? Mm -hmm. if, if, they all, if those 30 people said, look, we're just taking a day off, we'll see you tomorrow, would you just stand looking out the window and think, I don't know how to get on a bus or buy a... No, I would be, I would be fine. I would be totally fine. I'm the type of person, like, I have my assistant and they do my stuff for me, but I still do a lot of stuff on my own, like making my, a lot of my phone calls. And um, there's a lot of times where, like, if I'm in L.A. or something, if I just want to go out, I get in my car and I just go because I'm the type of person I have to, you know, be grounded and keep those kind of people around me, you know what I mean, to keep me that way. Like my friends from back home that I've always been with since I was a little girl. Mm. You know, you, I have to, you know, yeah. Yeah. What do you drive? Uh, Mercedes. Right. One thing I like about, I mean, I have celebrity in a kind of a small way. And one thing I like best about it is that you get free things. Oh, yeah. What, what's... <laughs> is it, doesn't that matter is how, the good thing. It is. doesn't matter how much money you've got, does mm -hmm. it? There's nothing like a freebie. Oh, hell yes, definitely. What's, yes. I think the best I ever had, I got tickets for the World Cup final at soccer in France. Oh, I was okay. very excited about that. Mm -hmm. what, what's your best ever freebie, would you say? Probably the clothes. Yeah, like, you know, when I go places, they're like, here, take this from Versace, and the dresses from... And it's so weird because when I was poor and I didn't have any money, nobody gave me anything, and then now... It's like here, and I'm like, what? It doesn't make any sense. But yeah. it's very cool. I'm embracing it. I yeah. Think. It's very nice. Yeah. But, but what, it's a one thing, has anyone ever given you, I don't know, a car or anything like that? A car? Um, actually, yes, someone has given me a car. What, what was yeah. that? It was a Porsche. Really? Yeah. Yeah. That's, my Mercedes in, is in my house in Louisiana, but the Porsche is in L.A. Yeah. So Los Angeles. You want, in, in L.A., you want a Porsche? Yes. Yeah. 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 So that was, did they just kind of phone up your agent and say, wonder if Britney would like a Porsche? I don't, actually, I don't know how it came about. It just turned up one day. day. <laughs> <laughs> Some people called, yeah, and called my security guard because he knows all the stuff about cars and the cars business. Yeah. So um, he hooked it up for me and he was like, would you like a Porsche? I was like, hell yeah. So. He was going to say no. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> It's, it's fantastic. You know, you've earned it. You've worked mm -hmm. hard all these years. Drive yeah. that Porsche girl. Go, do. girl. I do. I drive it really fast. Yeah, go, girl. Let's go a bit opera for a moment. <laughs> Don't know why I'm doing that. That's more Backstreet Boys, isn't it? <laughs> now, um, you have a new single um, out called um, Overprotected. Mm -hmm. And what the, what the highlight of the new single for me, and I've studied your work in some detail over the years. <laughs> The highlight is the way you say me. The way I say me? Yeah. Oh, okay. When it kind of comes out, my. <laughs> <laughs> now it's. This is very good, I must you. say. That Thank was a you very, very good much. impression. Anyway, let's have a look. This is, this is Britney's Overprotected. I don't need nobody telling me just what I wanna. What I want, what, what I'm gonna. Do about my destiny. I love that. <laughs> if only you were called May, it would be perfect. <laughs> I'll tell you my favourite Britney... I have my favourite Britney noise on tape. This is the one. This, is, this for me, is... You know, there are special moments in rock and roll music. This yes. is one of them. OK. <laughs> you like that, huh? I think that's among your best work. <laughs> It's, sli it's slightly feline, isn't it? <laughs> speaking of which, speaking of the feline front, you know on um, Slave For You... Yeah, Slave For You. Yeah, <laughs> Slave For You. Yeah. When you go... Uh... Now, I thought you were saying Kitty Kitty. <laughs> You know what, it's funny, a lot of people thought that as well. I'm yeah. Saying, I'm saying, get it, get it, get it, get, you know? Yeah, <laughs> it really sounds like... <laughs> kitty, kitty, kitty to me. <laughs> you could put together a whole montage of Britney calling in her cat. There's the cat in the street. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. 
This is how I film my days at home. <laughs> I'll be back in a moment with Britney Spears. <laughs> Welcome back. Now, um, you are quite a religious person. Because mm -hmm. I read that you, kept a, you keep a kind of a prayer journal. Mm -hmm. Now, what is that exactly? Because I haven't heard of that concept before. It's just, I sometimes, like, if I don't, if I'm really, really tired <clears throat> and I start saying my prayers, usually I'll fall asleep if I just, you know, say them out loud. So I made a conscious effort to have a journal so I could write into them every night and just write them down so I wouldn't fall asleep. So that's how I started writing in my journal. Well, that's a good idea. Yeah. So you've got them all as well. Mm -hmm. How long have you kept that? For, like, three or four years now. And you remember to fill it in every night? Mm-hmm, yeah. I do it every night before I go to bed. That's brilliant. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah? I do think it's brilliant because there's been a... Um, I know you're bored of hearing about this, but you made a statement a few years ago about the fact that you thought people should stay a virgin until they get married. Mm -hmm. Which some people... <laughs> I think it was really... It's very I, unusual. I honestly yeah. wish I wouldn't have ever brought that up. Because now it's like everyone always asks, you know... Oh, no, yeah, no, no, no. I, I can understand that, but I'm, I'm sorry that you regret it, really, because I think it was kind of a, a really ballsy thing for you to say, even if you didn't mean to say it. It's kind of you stating your individual view and not being worried about peer pressure or what pop stars are supposed to do. Right. Well... Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I do, I think it's kind of admirable. You know, if one... There might be one person, male or female, somewhere, teenager, who would have just had sex one night because of they feel that they ought to, who might think, well, hold on a minute, you don't have to. You know, if Britney Spears doesn't, why should I? Right. You could have saved unwanted pregnancies, street crime. <laughs> well, thanks. Maybe the world. <laughs> I don't know about that. But no, it was just something that I was asked in an interview one day, and I was like, you know, and I just told them, and then, boom, every the world's talking about it. <laughs> You're really waiting for me to change the subject now, aren't you? Uh, yes. <laughs> but I do, I do, I just wanted to make the point that I think it's, it, it was kind of a brave thing to do, and I don't think you should regret it. I think it was, a, in a way, a, a, quite an important stance. Well, thank you. Hey, thank you. Thank that's you. my view. Well, thank uh, you. And you know, I've been, I've been trying it myself for about three weeks. Oh, you have? <laughs> And I must say, it's starting to drag a little. <laughs> now, your, your first video, that's how everyone kind of got to know you in the UK. You did um, Baby One More Time, when you dressed as a schoolgirl, mm -hmm. which was your idea, apparently. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Have you seen these? These are what they call motion cards. And they're kind of, I don't know if we can I've get I've never seen on. that before. Isn't that brilliant? Look, That's kind of cool. You just kind of tweak that a bit and, and Britney does that dance. <laughs> That's one of my favourite things. Do you ever... <laughs> <laughs> Not in the whole world, just in, <laughs> just in my collection. <laughs> Do you already know things like Baby One More Time, are you a bit fed up of singing it? You know what? Actually, on the last two tours that I've done, we've changed, we've remixed the song, so it's not the exact version that you hear on the radio. Yeah. So it will be, you know, more appealing for me to sing. Yeah. So. There's a there's a TV series, or there was a TV series in the UK called um, Pop Stars, mm -hmm. and there was a version of Baby One More Time. <laughs> uh oh. I'm on that by one of the contestants, a guy called Darius, who actually has gone on to do quite well uh -huh. since. But um, I thought you might want... I'm guessing you haven't seen this before. It's I a, haven't seen it. It's a, <laughs> it's a novel arrangement. OK. <laughs> so this, this is Darius singing okay. Baby One More Time. OK. My loneliness is killing me And I, I must confess I still believe Still believe when I'm not with you, I lose my mind. Give me a song. Hit me, baby, one more time. Baby, 
hit me one more time. He definitely had his own thing going on. I definitely felt that. Yeah, he had his own thing going on. Yeah. <laughs> Perhaps the only person on the planet <laughs> with that thing going on. But that became... I mean, as you see, when I started talking about it, the audience started laughing straight away. It's a bit of a cult classic uh -huh. now. That's funny. It's yeah. hilarious. Now, um, I've got a quote here. Oh, goodness. Uh, this is you talking about older Britney fans, right? Uh -huh. I have to say, the older fans are creepy. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> don't, don't try and make me feel better. <laughs> The 40-year-olds, people are in your face too much. My mum always tells me not to concern myself with them. No, 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 no. They, they took what I said way out of context. I right. didn't use those exact words when I said that at all. No, seriously. You're not I just going to make me feel better. No, I'm not. I'm just, I'm being for real. Seriously. Okay. Yeah. So what, what did you really say? Older fans, I hate them. No, no. They, actually, the interview person, they were with me that day when this older man and his two younger kids were there. And he was really in my face, and he brought it up. He was like, I saw how creepy the guy was. Mm. And I was like, yeah, he was a bit creepy, but not all of them are like that. No. Yeah. Well, the last thing you want is some old guy being in your face. Right. Got, a, got a picture of you at a party. <laughs> <laughs> That's Mick Jagger. <laughs> you look like you're having a great time with Mick Jagger. <laughs> <laughs> that, is a fa that is saying so much, please leave me alone. <laughs> He was very nice. He was cool. Oh, you're so nice, Brittany. No, no, no he was really nice. Come he was on, cool. be, a, be the bad girl just for one night. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what I meant. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. I don't talk to many 20 year old girls anymore. If I do, it's just a short series of commands. <laughs> You made a movie mm -hmm. called um, Crossroads, mm -hmm. and I, I went to see it, actually. You did? Yeah. And I have to say, I did like it. I, I was kind of thinking, oh, no, I've got to face Britney, and it's going to be terrible, and I'm going to have to lie about it. Right? Aww. <laughs> you, know, you, know, you know what I mean, though? If I hadn't have liked it, I, it would have been a bit awkward, and yeah. maybe I just wouldn't have mentioned it. I'd have said, yeah, I saw your film, Crossroads, I anyway. I would have liked it if you would have done that. Just no, like. that, would, that would have just been impolite. Yeah. It's, I mean, it's a teen movie, isn't it? Yes, it is a teen movie. And um, it's, I mean, I figured it's kind of a girl's movie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's it, definitely a girl teen movie, yeah. Yeah, but you do also walk around in your underwear, so that will bring the boys in. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what, you know. Yeah, well, that wasn't the initiative. I just, no. I really wanted to do a teen movie that um, girls could go and watch and just, you know, afterwards just feel really close to their girlfriends and mm. just be touched by it in some way. And it's a teen movie, but it's also a teen movie that deals with a lot of teen issues that teenagers go through right now. And the whole generalization and moral of the whole movie is that at the end of the day, we all have our problems, but as long as you have your friends that you can talk to it about, that's what matters. That's so, so true. Yeah. It's so a little good. bit American, but it's so true. Because yeah. in England, we, we don't really, we're not able to express ourselves like that. We kind of think, you know, we've got friends, but we don't want them to think we like them too much. <laughs> Why? Because Ameri gotta... Americans are much more easy about talking about their feelings and things. You know, when really? you, t you know, they say, you know, I, I had a dream and but I wanted I to be a big star. when I here, everyone seems very, like, open <laughs> like that, though. They seem very, you know, like they would talk. They're very, you know, open about how they feel. Definitely. Yeah. Are they? Yeah. To you. More so here than I think America. Really? I think, oh, I probably shouldn't say that. But no, that's, yeah. that's, it must be terrible worrying about everything you say, like <laughs> every tiny thing. No. Okay. Anyway, we've got, we got a trailer of the film. Okay, cool. So this is, this is Britney's film, Crossroads. Open your heart to Lucy. Lucy, you're right now. Baby, we're going to be late. Just iron it for you. Kent. Excuse me. Dad, customer! And Mimi. Let's do this thing. They're the best of friends. <laughs> growing up. Why are you stopping? Henry, this isn't how I hoped it would be. It's weird, because this is exactly how I hoped it would be. <laughs> There's a scene where you dance in kind of Y fronts. 
In what? In like pink. Yeah. Boys' like a, pants, really. They're they're like granny panties almost. Like. What are they? <laughs> <laughs> They're like, they're like underwear, but they're a little bit bigger than like skimpy underwear. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sorry. <laughs> what do you call them? Granny panties? I said granny panties. Yeah, well, they're like, yeah. they're kind of like granny panties. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Where does that come from, granny panties? Like, they're underwear like when you wear when you're younger. Oh, and they're yeah. not like little bikini underwears, and I've just always called those kind of big underwear granny panties. That's so, great. Yeah. I'm up for that. Yeah. I, um, so, uh, what, when I saw that scene of you dancing in the pants, I felt, to be honest, slightly plagiarised. Because I... I've... <laughs> I've built a reputation in this country on dancing in my pants. Oh, yeah? I, I'm presuming it was some kind of homage. <laughs> this, is, I, this is me dancing in my pants. That's plenty of that. I'm impressed. That was very good. That is British comedy, Brittany. <laughs> you can keep your friends and your Seinfeld. That's what we like. <laughs> we like skinny guys dancing <laughs> in their grainy panties. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> now, um... I feel that I have to mention the fact that you've got um, a very famous boyfriend. Mm -hmm. Because it's a fantastic story. If you wanted to write a story, a romantic showbiz story, you and Justin Timberlake would be a very good model, I think. Because this is a guy, he's in, he's in a very successful boy band. Mm -hmm. um, in case you don't know, he's in NSYNC, which is a mega American uh, boy band. But also, when you were a child star, he was a child star as well, and you actually performed together. Yeah, when we were younger. Um, I knew him on the Mickey Mouse Club. We did that show for, like, two years, and um, we weren't, like, boyfriend and girlfriend there, but we really liked each other. Right. Watch this. How old were you then? I was 12 and 13. Yeah. Like he was 13, I was 12. Right. So. But so, did you keep in touch or did, did you kind of drift away and then meet up years later? We, yeah, we, we kind of kept in touch at the very beginning, but then after like three years, we stopped talking. And then we saw each other again at, um, he was doing um, promotional stuff for NSYNC and it was at a radio show. Yeah. And he came backstage and I was there. And then he knocked on my door, and then we saw each other, and ever since then, we've been going out, so... Was it was one of those moments when the door opened, it kind of all happened? Yeah, Did all over really? again. It's like, yeah, it's like that feeling like when you're with someone and you're like, ah, I don't know how to explain it, and you get butterflies in your stomach. Yeah. And, yeah. Well, you can't explain it. It's, yeah. it's love, for goodness sake. Yeah. I don't remember, personally, <laughs> but... <laughs> That's great. I read that one, one occasion he spelt out your name in, in rose petals. For my birthday. Yeah, yeah that's that. beautiful. Yeah, that was sweet. Very sweet. I also read that he gave you a portrait of himself in leopard skin um, boxer shorts for your birthday. <laughs> no, he didn't do that. That's not true. No, he did not do that. You know, I kind of like that story better. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll stick that, to that yeah. story. You know, I've had this specially made to commemorate. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> is part of the uh, attraction um, of Justin? I mean, he's a good-looking guy. We've got a picture of Justin, haven't we? He's a good-looking guy. He's got a lot of hair in that picture. <laughs> He's, he's had it cut short now, hasn't he? Yeah, yeah. That's, actually, that's the longest it's probably ever been. What, what's your view on it? Do you like it short or do you like that? I like it long so I can twist his hair. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, you did a great twisting job on that. <laughs> God, you must have been all night twisting that hair. <laughs> is, it, is part of the attraction, do you think, that you knew Justin before you were a big star? Oh, I don't know. Just... I think... Anyway, like even if this wouldn't have happened to us, I think our, our paths would have crossed anyway and we would have met. Yeah, I think it's just meant to be. You believe in fate? Yeah. Right. 
And the other thing that interests a lot of people in England, I think, is that you were supposedly quite friendly with Prince William, but it was just... Prince William? Yeah, but what do you remember him? Yeah, but I was right, quite friendly with oh, him. Oh, I don't mean he was a boyfriend, but you kind of exchanged emails or something? Yeah, it was just like, like a way blown out of proportion. We exchanged emails for a little bit, and uh, he was supposed to come and see me somewhere, but it didn't work out, so that was it. So. What a, and then everybody's like, oh, she met him, and nothing like that happened. You ever. were blown out by Prince William. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that's terrible. No, he was, he's a busy guy. Oh, what so. does he do with his time? He does nothing. <laughs> I suppose he was fox hunting, was he? I don't know. <laughs> you want to go with the brother. He's much more fun. <laughs> yeah, look, this is what you like, Brittany. Come on. <laughs> Well, look, it's been great talking to you. It's been great talking to you, too. And thanks for being such a good sport and doing the sketch and everything. We appreciate it. I hope um, Overprotected is uh, a big hit. Me too. Me too. And I hope the film's a big hit. And just keep doing what you keep doing. Ladies and gentlemen, the one and only Britney Spears. <laughs> Now tell me, Brittany, have you had any good gossip just lately? They say we're young and we don't know Won't find out until we grow Well, I don't know why that is true Cos you got me and baby I got you Babe I got you, babe I got you, babe I got flowers In the spring I got you You wear my ring When I'm sad You're a clown And I get scared You're always around And when they say your hair's too long But I don't care With you I can't go wrong Then put your little hand in mine There ain't no hill or mountain We can't climb Babe I got you, babe I got you, babe I got you to hold my hand I got you to understand I got you to walk with me I got you to talk to me I got you to kiss goodnight And I got you to hold me tight I got you and I won't let go And I got you who loves me so yeah. <laughs> I got